You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host, and I have my friend Eleni. Yes. From the Annunciation Greek Orthodox Church. Yes. And we're going to get to eat our favorite foods soon. Very, Very soon. soon. Okay. Very soon. Mark. So you're having a mini Greek food festival. It's just a smaller version of what's done in the fall Correct. over at the church on Oak Street. Correct. On Friday, May 17th. Saturday the 18th and Sunday the 19th. Correct. So let's talk about it. Now Friday is a little different. Very different. Uh, this is the first time we're doing a Friday. Mm -hmm. Traditionally it was only Saturday and Sunday and we had such a demand for gyro mm -hmm. at the main festival in September that we decided we would try and do that for Friday. So from 5 to 10 it will be gyro with fries and pastries. Uh, and live music. That's the best part. I love the live music. So we're hoping that everyone will come and join us and have fun time with us. Saturday is a big day in Brockton. There's so many things going on. We're covering an event 10 to 3. We've got another one 10 to 2. But somehow we're going to make our way over there too. Of course. Okay. I hope so. Well, I'm there anyway. We I'm a consumer and I'm going to be there for some of the food, the food that I can probably still eat. Uh, but I'm going to learn how to do some, some healthier eating um, these days. And the Mediterranean diet is really where, where it's at. Exactly. I don't know if the pastries are part of that, though. That might be a little over the edge for someone like me. But, you know, uh, maybe... Mm, some of them, um, some of them are good. Less. Some of them are good. Just a smaller portion. Right. So you just finished with Greek Easter. We did. And I'm sure you had uh, wonderful services and lots of family and... Well, it, Easter for us is, uh, one of, is the biggest holiday of the year for mm -hmm. the Greek Orthodox. Mm -hmm. And traditional meal is roast lamb on mm -hmm. the spit. Mm -hmm. Yep. Unfortunately, the weather didn't accommodate no. most people. No. But those of us that were able to do it, it made it very, very special. Mm -hmm. So this is a fundraiser for the church. The yes. biggest fundraiser is the fall Correct. festival. Correct. But people liked it so much you guys decided a few years back to do it in the spring. Correct. We're absolutely happy about that because we like to go over there and everybody is so nice. Your your Father Mike, right? Father Mike. Oh, he is amazing. He's a joy. He's a very nice person. He's a jewel. I was glad to He's see him. He did uh, I think it was there for the mayors. Swearing, some, some he he was the you know the clergy at one of the events we covered, and uh, we enjoyed coming there last year and covering the whole festival, watching everybody running, running ragged, <laughs> doing all the work. I'm sure there's just as much work for this, even though it it it, it the the Friday's a little different. A little different. Um, it is a busy time, but it's a wonderful time. And the Brockton community and surrounding community have been amazingly supportive of uh, our work. Uh, the church uses the funds to support the ministries of the church. Mm -hmm. uh, some of those ministries, uh, one is uh, supporting the homeless veterans. Nice. And uh, so far we've supported up to a thousand homeless veterans. Yeah, very nice. Uh, these veterans uh, are evaluated by the VA and once they have a home for them we provide them with the essentials for starting a household. Nice. So is, is it the ones that are on North Main Street? Because there, there are veterans homes there. I mean, that might be Father Bill's and Main Spring versus... The Main Spring House, right. we support the Main Spring House as right. well. Right, okay. And uh, in addition uh, to the veterans, we also do brow bag lunches for the uh, Spring House. Yeah. And the Children's Medical Fund. Uh, the church spo sponsors a, church, a uh, medical fund mm -hmm. uh, for uh, all children throughout the United States. Okay. And the last year it was uh, done in Massachusetts and Boston, mm. and Brockton actually received some of that support. Great, good. So, so th that's how we use the funds. And this one is ladies and men are involved. The, the late everyone works. I know the men usually deal with the heroes, right? <laughs> I said it right. Some people call it gyros, and that's not no. The way it's you say the hero. It. Hero. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Um, and I was watching them slice the slice the, the lamb and the different meats at the fall festival. And then 
So it's everything else. It's it's the it's the um, moussaka and the, the 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 lamb. The lamb and the chicken. The, the chicken and the, the kebabs. Rice pilaf. The rice. The everything. Greek beans. The the homemade uh, pita. Yeah. The, all the homemade pastries. It's yeah. it's everything. Um, the the mini festival is sponsored by the ladies philoptochos, right. which is the philanthropic arm of the church. Right. And uh, the funds again are used for those ministries. Uh, the uh, festival that's done in the in the fall yeah. is sponsored by the parish council together with the ladies of philoptochos. Yeah. It's done jointly. Right. It's a much bigger undertaking, well, and it requires a great deal more well, manpower. I wish I had a time lapse camera to put there and show just how you guys are working. Like it's like I don't know how people don't have to give up their jobs during that time if if they are if they are employed because it's it, it's amazing how many people go through there. The sheer number of people, and this is catching on too. I think you're going to get even more this year. This uh, is a mini festival. We've been doing that for at least 15 years. Yeah, okay. It, it's been oh, at that least many. That, I didn't realize yeah, that. Okay. It's been that long. And it's, it's inside. Been, you don't have to worry it's about the in, weather. It's indoors because all. this time of year, who knows? You don't know what the weather is going right. to be, and it can get quite cool. Right. So we do it indoors, and there will be a children's table. There will also be uh, a yard sale. Mm -hmm. Okay. If anyone is interested in the yard sale, we'll also be having that. That will be managed by our youth. Okay. So everyone in the parish has a role. I like it. Everyone has a role. And even those outside the parish have a role. We come in with a consumer. Absolutely. Right? Absolutely. We want everyone to come and enjoy all of the food and pastries. And whoever wants to help us, they're welcome also. Okay. Always a pleasure. Thank Very you so nice much. Very nice to see you. Sorry Thank for you the so short much. notice, but we had a vacant slot, and we'll put this on much, all the way up to the, the last day of the festival, and it'll be on TV. And much appreciated. Go from there. You've always been fantastically supportive of us. Glad to Thank be. Thank you. Glad to be. You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.